What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I have some good news but also some bad news in terms of jailbreaking coming from Google Project Zero. They have released a brand new vulnerability, a complete write-up. In fact, EMBeer has released it. EMBeer has been known in the past to release important vulnerabilities for jailbreak community and they are working for Google Project Zero. But this time the one that has been released is actually quite puzzling because this one is indeed a zero-click iMessage exploit which has been used in the wild against various people. So just a couple of hours ago, Ian Beer of Google Project Zero posted this, quote, Today we're publishing a detailed technical write-up of this vulnerability here, I'm not going to pronounce it because it's going to demonetize the video. The zero-click iMessage exploit linked by Citizen Lab to the exploitation of journalists, activists and dissidents around the world. So this is basically an iMessage zero-click attack. This means that the victim wouldn't have to click on any links or tap on anything or open anything, it would work directly by sending them a message, which makes it even more powerful. Powerful. Now, of course, once this has been released by Google Project Zero, a lot of people ask me, can we use this for jailbreak purposes? Well, it's very likely that we can. That's not the problem. It's basically an iMessage exploit, so I don't exactly see a jailbreak being made via iMessage, but it could be done in some remote setting, probably. The problem is the vulnerability itself is actually quite powerful, even more powerful than a jailbreak would actually need. This one is a zero click, which means that you wouldn't even know you've been targeted. You would just receive something like this, a strange message, which many scam messages look like this nowadays. And of course, this is actually a huge, massive attack surface that has been discovered here and detailed by Google Project Zero, initially by NSO. If you remember the NSO Pegasus thing, it's basically that thing all over again. It's NSO again back at it with another vulnerability. This one is called like this and of course it has been used against people before. So in terms of jailbreaking, yes, we probably can use this for jailbreak purposes for Torin or Uncover if they decide to go iMessage powered, like for example to start a jailbreak via an iMessage payload. That would possibly be doable, but I wouldn't see it very practical because who sends the message in the first place? How do you activate it in the first place? How do you send the payload? Do you send it to yourself or what? It would be a little bit weird to implement, but the vulnerability is there and it's actually powerful enough that it has been used to exfiltrate files from people's devices into the attacker's server, so that's actually quite bad. Now the reason I'm making this video is at first for jailbreak purposes. This is a huge vulnerability, very important for jailbreak purposes if it gets used, although not very practical because as I said it's iMessage powered, but at the same time to inform you about a huge security issue in iMessage. Now it's probably that this is not going to affect you directly because as you can see the people who are targeted are journalists, activists, dissidents and so on around the world. You the average Joe will probably not be targeted with something like this but if you fear that there is a risk and you fear that you are in a position where you might be targeted this has been patched in 14.8. So yeah if you're running 14.7, 14.6, 14.5.1 in here you are indeed vulnerable. 14.8 is the first iOS version to patch this and of course the iOS 15 after after that does indeed patch it. Do I recommend it to update if you're on a lower version just to mitigate this? Well, it all depends on you. You know what kind of risk you have, what kind of person you are, if you're a public figure, if you're not, if you're popular, if you're not. Can you stumble across it from like a scam message or something like that? Yeah, the chance is there, but it's unknown how big it is if you're not an influencer or a journalist or something like that. Definitely powerful and while it can be used for jailbreak purposes, it does bring important security issues to the table as well. If you want to learn more about how they pulled it off, you can definitely check out the blog by Google Project Zero, absolutely detailed blog in here by Ian Beer and their team, and they explain exactly how it works, and it's actually quite complicated, a lot more complicated than I would like to get into in this video, it's a lot of technical stuff, it's long, but it's definitely interesting to see. In terms of jailbreaking, while it might be usable, the vulnerability might be usable, we don't know for sure right now, it's probably very impractical to use because it's via iMessage, it's not via Safari, so I don't really see Uncover or Torin being updated to work with that, but the vulnerability itself probably is powerful enough to create a jailbreak if they really wanted to. So yeah, that's basically it, if you want to stay safe you can update past 14.8, but do know that you are diminishing your jailbreaking chances if you go past iOS 14.8. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am GS Now, till next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.